Sunday reset. Let's go. Bedroom, 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 bedroom. Yeah. What is this? And I just look like this. With no food in my house. Dead flowers eating a nutrient bar. Wait, that's Let me just put this up right now. Hi, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Amin Tamsin. Thank you for joining me today. It's Sunday and I want to do a Sunday reset vlog. I've got cleaning to do. I've got washing to put away. I've got washing to put on. I've got a new bed set. I've got things I want to do. And I like watching these kind of videos because it makes me feel productive. So I hope this can be that for you. I had a little lie in this morning because I went to bed late last night. It's half 11 right now. We have things to do, girls. So you're going to come with me whilst I do all my Sunday stuff. I'm wearing my hoodie because it is freezing. I'm absolutely starving right now. But I have no food in the house. So I need to go do a food shop. Just a lot going on, girls. So let's just crack right on into it. I'm going to have to eat something because I am starved. Sunday reset. Let's go. Right, I've changed my outfit so you don't have to stare at my My Little Pony hoodie whilst I do stuff. So, my kitchen's a bit messed up because I had some friends over last night. We cooked and then we didn't clean it up. So, I'm going to clean all that up right now, spruce up the kitchen. I'm also going to make a coffee, probably. Coffee. I wonder if I'll ever get flipping like experimentative with my coffee because I'd just be double espresso and milk. That's it. I'm sure I've spoke to you about this before, but I, this is what I use. So obviously I've got an espresso machine. I've got the Nespresso Latissima Touch. That's what it's called. I don't know if they sell that anymore though. I bought it. I think I bought it in 2020, so it is a good few years old now. But listen, it does its job. By the way, my lips have been so dry the past couple of days. I don't know if it's just because it's felt colder outside. Oh, they're so dry. Anyway, so I buy pods for that machine. I used to buy them from Aldi, Tesco, wherever, right? Obviously, Aldi ones are just like own brand Aldi. Tesco, you can get like Starbucks and little different brands. But every like box you buy of like eight or 10 pods was like three pound or maybe even more than that. This is 100 pods by Wonky Coffee. So basically what they do is, you ever heard of like odd box with like the veg that's like surplus or wonky veg or like, you know, stuff like that. They take coffee pods that will go to landfill because of either surplus or they're damaged in some way, but obviously not the actual coffee, like the little tin is damaged and they put them in these boxes. So something like this, for instance, right? Can you see that it's like damaged a bit? That they would have to throw away. They're not wrong with it. So Wonky Coffee takes them and they put them in these boxes. I think I got this box for 25 pound. So 100 divided by 25. No, sorry, that was wrong. 25 divided by 100. 25p per pod, which makes it 50p for my coffee. Double espresso, right? Whereas if I got that in Tesco and I say I pay £3.50, like the Starbucks ones are £3.50. Is there eight or 10 in them? Let's be generous and say there's 10. That would be 35p. And if there was eight, it might be more than that. 
this just makes more sense because I don't have to keep going to the supermarket to buy the pods and it's cheaper. I don't know if I don't know what flavors they are or what strength they are. Grind coffee pods in here, all different kinds of pods. So they're a good option if you have an espresso machine. I'm gonna get on with taking that washing off of there. Can you see it? I'm gonna take that washing off, fold it up, spruce up the living room area and then we can go and clean everywhere else. Also, let me put bin bags on my shopping list. I have so many flowers from around Valentine's Day that are all dead now. So they have to go in the bin, unfortunately. I say so many because my dad bought me some and my mum bought me some. But my mum bought me like 50 red roses, so they have to go in multiple vases. Because it didn't all fit. They're dead, and they're, they're kind of knocking me sick when I look at them in the house. Oh, that's so yuck. Ooh. I'm gonna leave that in the sink with hot water and a bit of fairy liquid, so we can just get all the dirt and germs off. We'll come back to that. It's a fact, my bed is messy. All right, wash it. This just came out, the washer. Right, let me do the office first, then we'll come back to this. Don't you hate when this happens? Because I just brought you, and you want to be childish and drop out my hands. They look so sad. God, where do I start? Right, I'm just going to put away everything that needs to be put away. Sunday lunch at three and I have some work that I need to do in between that so I don't think I'm gonna have time for a food shop today because by the time I finish the Sunday lunch the shops will be closed so I think I'm gonna go tomorrow morning to do my food shop but my fridge needs clearing out like there's random stuff in there that needs to go in the bin and since I've got the flowers in that bin bag I'm just gonna empty it into the bin bag and then I can take it out immediately I haven't done a food shop in like two three weeks like, especially this past week, I have been living on, like, just getting stuff out and ordering in, which I hate doing. Like, I want to have stuff. I'm going to Barbados next Saturday. It's Sunday today. So, I just need to do a little food job tomorrow. Like, enough to sustain me for the week. Nothing too crazy. <sighs> but, that, like, you know when your fridge is full but there's nothing in it? Does that ever make sense? Like, what is this? So, we're going to do a clear out. What's the time? Oh, my God. I feel a bit stressed. 1.24. <sighs> Okay. No, I can't do this right now. I can't do this right now, it's too much. It's too much, I'm doing that tomorrow. <laughs> Half one, I'm not eight out today. Cause I ain't got no, I ain't got nothing left. There's literally nothing. This is disgusting. Wait, I've got some noodles. But I'm going for food at three o'clock. I just want some a little. Oh, you know what? Nutri-grain. 
Yeah, baby. Isn't it so funny, like, how all the Sunday reset vlogs are like, clean girl aesthetic. Girls are like, yeah, I'm gonna drink my matcha and summer my week out and blah, blah, blah. And I just look like this, with no food in my house, gone off, expired, shit in the fridge, dead flowers, eating a Nutri-Grain bar. Listen, you came here for me. You came here for real life. Because it is half one and I need to go out and film something for my supermarket video that's going up today, I'm gonna go and get in the shower and get ready to go. Okay, I'm nice and clean, nice and fresh. So I'm gonna get ready to go for my Sunday lunch. Okay, I'm heading out, I'm ready. Here's my outfit. ASOS jeans, I haven't put a belt on because I just can't be bothered. Adidas trainers. I've got my little sleeveless jumper from PLT. I washed this and it shrunk. Big shock, it shrunk. But I kind of think it looks cute, like being a little cropped jumper. And then this PLT biker jacket. I'm taking a black bag. Where is it? Oh, it's there. This is from ASOS time ago. It's just like a good basics bag and it fits on my arm. I've just put my wash that I put on out to dry. Here it is. So I've just put that out to dry. Let's go and eat a nice Sunday lunch. So I'm going to this new place called the Lamb of Tartary. Lamb of Tartary? Tartary? Tartary. Um, <laughs> It's basically where, if you're from Manchester, do you know where Cottonopolis is in Northern Quarter? It's in that building. And they've like rebranded it as like a gastro pub kind of vibe. So they invited me down to try their Sunday lunch. So best believe I'm excited. Look, we've got two little cocktails. Sammy got rum espresso martini and I got French martini. We're having a lovely time. This is literally only opened two days ago. So like, we're the first. Thing. Oh my God. Look at the bread tower. And this is a crumpet with crab. You actually did lick it then, that was yours. <laughs> I don't know what this is, like this crab is with base, something. Oh. And then the crab is like underneath. Oh, yeah. nice. Look at the bread, oh my God. Crab crumpet. Oh, that is very good. Look at that. That butter is just so sumptuous. What is this oil? Show the oil. Yeah. Mm. This looks unbelievable. I've not had steak tartar in ages and I like the crisps of it. I'm gonna like mix it up. You're gonna hate this. Like mix it. Up. Oh my god. Yeah, but it's like you mix the egg yolk with the meat. Yeah. And then you like scoop it. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh my god. I don't want to get too full from the same way. This is my Sunday lunch. I've got lamb, shoulder. Sammy has this whole. Is it a Dover sole? Um, yeah. That is crazy. Some stuff on the side. Well, we're only young We're only this pretty and this young one. This is intriguing me. This is a buttermilk pudding. I don't know what that's going to be like. Like yogurt or panna cotta, I don't know. And this is a chocolate mousse. It's looking so decadent and old fashioned. I love it. Darlings. I'm back home now. After our Sunday lunch, I went back to my friend Sammy's and I was chilling at house for a bit. The Sunday lunch was so nice. So, basically that restaurant was only open two days ago. Oh my god, the food was unreal. Like it's been a while since I've been somewhere and I'm like, oh my god, like this really slaps. But we had this like crab crumpet to start that was divine. The bread is from pollen and the bread, oh, the bread was so good. And then for our mains, I had the lamb, Sammy had fish, which she really liked. And then the desserts. Like, I feel like everything was really creative. Like the dessert, it was called, what was it called? I think it was um, buttermilk pudding. So it was really weird, because it's like, it like thick, yogurty kind of thing, like moussey yogurt, but the flavor, like it was almost savory, and it had olive oil on and a rhubarb compote. So the rhubarb was like really tart and sweet. And the actual um, buttermilk thing, it was like kind of sour because buttermilk but it was so nice, but it was like very 
subtly sweet, mixed with like a tiny bit savoury. Oh, it was banging. The whole menu was really creative. The beef tartare, oh my god. Sammy didn't eat beef, so I ate that by myself, but the flavour, the quality of the meat, yeah. If you're in need of like a good British food kind of restaurant, the lamb of tartare in Northern Quarter, yeah. It's approved. Also, whilst I was with Sammy, basically she was at mine last night with my other friend and we were all talking about me going to Barbados and whatnot, whatnot. Now, if you've been keeping up to date with my videos, you'll know I'm going back to Barbados next week. I booked it as a solo trip because I just wanted to go. England is depressing and I loved how I felt when I was there. So I was like, let me just go back. And it realistically wouldn't make sense for me to go away until May. And I didn't want to wait that long. I am going away with my mum at the end of April to Mallorca. But yeah, that's been booked for ages. So anyway, Sammy was at mine last night and we were all talking about it. And she was like, hmm, I'm feeling kind of reckless. She's just got back from holiday as well. And she's like, I've got holiday blues. I need to go back on holiday. <laughs> so I'm saying, babe, come to Barbados. Like, I've already booked my Airbnb. Why don't you look at the flights and see how much they are? And if they're all right, then come with me because you'll just have to pay for your flight and like you're spending money. Anyway, I meet up with her today and she tells me that she could fly from Manchester for 400 quid. And I was like, that's decent because most of the flights to Barbados are looking like, 5.56, so she decided that she's gonna come with me. <laughs> so basically, I go on Saturday, and she's gonna fly out on the Wednesday. So, she's flying out on the Wednesday, flying home on Wednesday. I'm there from Saturday until, not the next Tuesday, the Tuesday after that. So, she's gonna fly back a day after me. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna have like four days alone, and then she's gonna come, which is gonna be fun. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm having a, like, a breakout at the moment. I've just washed my face and it's stinging, which is really weird because it's been fine, but I'm having a bit of a flare up here. I've got a couple spots that have just come up. So I need to put something gentle on my skin. Literally might just put the drunk, oh, it's empty. The drunk elephant polypeptide. I'll just like douse my skin in this. I feel like everything is dry on me. Like my face is dry, it's irritated. My lips are really dry. We need to get it sorted. Right, I'm actually gonna douse my face in this. I need like a lip mask. Do we have any lip masks? Again, this is empty and I'm holding on to like the last dregs of it. This is the NARS Lip Sleeping Mask. Oh, this is so good. Even if you wore this like with a lip liner in the daytime as like a lipstick, it'd be so nice. Cause it's got like a very subtle pink tint to it. Okay. I'm going to bed. Tomorrow, we're gonna to do the food job. Hello, good morning, darlings. It's Monday morning. I've got myself looking fresh. I've just been doing a little bit of work this morning, a little bit of editing. I'm gonna clean out the fridge now because I'm about to go and do the food job. So, this is the state of the fridge right now. Like, it looks full. I promise you all of that's off. I promise you all of that's off. Anyway, I am going to Barbados on Saturday, but I'm actually going to London on Thursday. So I'll be there a couple of days before I even go away. So really I'm only home Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday morning. So when I'm going to do a food shop, I'm just gonna get a few things, nothing too crazy. So this fridge is gonna carry on looking a little bit empty for a bit longer. Yeah, we need to throw some stuff out. What's the date today? 6th of March, okay. That's all good. Rice. Okay, that kale is fine. Lemons are fine. Carrots are fine. Ooh, my God. Ooh, we gotta clean this fridge out. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Have a baby by me, baby. I'll be a billionaire. Have a baby by me, baby. Be a billionaire. Okay, the tidying is all done. I feel much better. I need to not buy anything that I'm not gonna eat in the next few days because I do not want it going off. So I will keep that in mind when we do the food shop.
how nice this is. It's like a fake goo pot from Top Cheesecake, Belgian chocolate and slight caramel. Nice, nice, nice. Goo doop. I got this. This is vitamin D hit cold pressed dosage shot. <laughs> I could have made this myself, but I couldn't be bothered. Orange, ginger, turmeric, lemon. Should I have a shot? I'm gonna have a shot of it now. You're supposed to have a 100ml shot, which is quite a bit. That looks rancid. Let's go for it. Mm. It's quite nice, actually. I think I need two shots. That's why I need 100ml. Bottoms up. I've got quite a few snacky bits because I feel like my snack cup is full but there's like no snacks in it that I want to eat. It's weird that isn't it? That it is actually full but there's nothing I want to eat. No. Sorry, am I distracting you? No. <laughs> Barbecue lemon chips. I love these. Oh. Fake squares bars. I can hear Uncle Eddie in my ear. What the fuck is this? What is this Wait shit? The fuck up. Wait the fuck up. Malted milk is one of my favourite biscuits but there are needs with chocolate on. I'm having one. Malted milk? Yeah. No. You don't like malted milk? Yeah, I like custard creams and that, but malted milk is underrated. Ooh. This would be so good in a brew. Wake the fuck up. And then they had all the Easter stuff out. So I saw these crispy hazelnut filled eggs. Put on. Huh? Don't worry, man. Clean catch. I did get normal food as well. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. I can't describe what that's like. You know you get them little wafer bites, the hazelnut wafers, that's what it tastes like. You see I cleaned the fridge out, isn't it looking much nicer? Oh shit, mm -hmm. that looks empty. Yeah, because we had food in there but it was all not right. I'm making a stir fry tonight. I've got a present. Oh, oh this is adorable. Is. That is lovely. Look at that. Bloody lovely. It's a present from Glossy Box. Oh my god, that's so cute. From Glossy Box. It's an egg for Easter. Look at in, what is inside. That's mega. Oh my god, I'm so excited. L'Oreal Metal Detox Professional Hair Mask. I think it's a hair mask. It must be, yeah, Le Chauveau. Wow. Bondi Sands Lip Balm with SPF 50 in strawberry. I'm gonna need that next week in Barbados. Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask, three in one insensitive, oh. Three in one intensive skin restorer. Under eye mask with snow mushroom extract. Revive me. Ooh. Schwartz Cough Hold Fixation Extra Strong Hold Hairspray. This is a really good hair brand. <gasps> This works, stress check, sleep lotion, comfort and body lotion with lavender and chamomile to support a good night's sleep. Wow. Smells like, you ever get them wheat pillows um, that you used to put in the microwave and like, when I was little I had like a wheat pillow that you put in the microwave and um, it would smell like lavender and it smells like this, it's really cute. BH Cosmetics 16 Colour Shadow Palette Hanging in Hawaii. Hanging in Hawaii. Oh, that's so pretty. Guva, is that how you say that? Guva. Guva London Bergamot Infused Velvet Lip Cream. What does that mean? This is giving bougie. This looks so bougie. The packaging. I could do ASMR, you know, guys. <gasps> that's so posh. Oh, God. That's very pink, isn't it? Oh. Oh, it's red. God, that feels so nice. It's like lovely and velvety. What's next? Glossy Box. You are so kind. Thank you, Glossy Box. Iconic London Highlight Pencil. Oh, I don't know if this is like for your cheeks or for your eyes or for what. Look at that. Iconic London has always like been great though, a highlighter. We've got the L'Oreal Metal Detox Shampoo. So we have the shampoo and the hair mask. Just keeps going. 
Elemis Pro Collagen Morning Matrix Day Cream. I like the Pro Collagen range from Elemis, so this is cute. And last but not least, we have the Elf Power Grip Primer. I have never used this, but it's supposed to be amazing. I don't even have anything like in the box as to why they've sent me this. But glossy box, thank you. I do love a glossy box. And I think on their website, you can also buy, probably buy all these products. I'm gonna put on some of this lip balm right now. This is adorable. See, I think I've had one of these before. And if I remember right, they are very thick. Hmm, that's nice though. It's kind of like, not like a glossy balm at all. More like a nourishing, like really thick kind of balm. It's quite hard right now. I think they might have formulated this so it can be in the sun. You know, like when certain lip balms get hot, they like melt. I think that'll be better in a warmer climate. So I'm just gonna take that away with me. I've been quite good at ending my videos recently, but I forgot to end this video and guess what? I'm not at home. Okay, that'll be the next video coming on Wednesday. I'm somewhere else. You obviously know where I am if you watch the video intently. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.